Oh, yes, of course, I watch every series they've ever put out all the way through. See, there, there it is. There it is. Uh, nothing on Amazon or Hulu or Crackle. Crackle's uh, not a thing. Well, I thought Crackle was a thing. I don't think it, I thought it, I thought it collapsed. Ask the audience, is it a thing? That Look, sounds about right. One person literally went, yes, so that's great. Yeah, but even that was like, yes? yes? Is that what you want me to say? I think so. What's crap? Uh, but I, th I, mean, I mean, people talk about this all the time, but Netflix is the future and is how television and viewing anything is going to be viewed. And they figured it out, and Ted Sarandos had the vision before anybody else, and, and that's why it's in 130 countries. And... Like, I'm in this, now I'm going to promote a movie I'm in. Here we go, guys. Uh, it's a Netflix movie called Futile and Stupid Gesture. And the kind of, thanks, one guy. And um, <laughs> the response, uh, at least, like, my social media response, I was like, wow, this is bigger than almost, I mean, uh, community always got a big response. But it's amazing how uh, quick, even though there's so much programming on Netflix, it it definitely, I was like, I've gotten a bigger response from that than almost anything. And you played Chevy Chase in that. Yes. The what? movie is about the National Lampoon magazine. Mm -hmm. For you young people, there was a thing called the National Lampoon magazine. And when people used to read magazines, and it was the biggest, it changed comedy in the 70s, and it changed comedy now uh, to now forever. And uh, the guy, Doug Kenny, who started it uh, with with one of the guy, who's played by Donald Gleason, uh, Beard, and... Um, uh, he, uh, they, they uh, also Doug Kenny wrote Animal House and he wrote Caddyshack and he died very tragically, very young. And he was Chevy Chase's best friend, or they were best friends. And uh, no one knew about Doug Kenny. He was like Hamilton. How uh, there needed to be a musical, to, and and now uh, a Netflix movie to kind of point it out. But he really did change comedy. And uh, it's it's a it's a it's not just a biography pick. It's a, it's kind of like a Christmas Carol because Martin Mull. Uh, who uh, you you older people know who he is? You young people, look him up. It, you should know who he is because he's brilliant. Uh, he plays old Doug Kenny, who never existed, and uh, it's a really great device to tell the story. And there was a shit ton of cocaine. 